Hey there Dev Squad, Vertus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video, we are going to be taking our zombie character one step further, and we are going to be setting it up in a way whereby when you shoot this enemy, it is going to drop to the floor using ragdoll physics. So instead of where it is at the moment where you shoot it and it dies, it disappears, instead we're going to be utilizing physics to make this body drop to the floor and then you're going to be able to kick it around using your feet and all of that good stuff. So it's going to be a lot more realistic. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into Unreal Engine 4. So what I'm going to do is start off by pressing play to show you where we are at the moment. So if I shoot it, it just disappears and that is it. So to set up ragdoll physics, the first thing that we need to do is have a physics actor in place that is going to work. So having said that, we are going to go ahead and create one. Now, you are more than likely going to have one already, and this is going to be created when you import your character. Now, with Unreal Engine, for whatever reason, there's sometimes a bug whereby the one that is automatically created is not going to allow you to simulate physics. So essentially, all we're going to do is take this and delete it, and then we are going to create a new physics asset. Once you've done this, what you want to do is go over to your zombie character, right click it, go to create, physics asset, and then create and assign. And then just use all of the default settings that I've got here, and then hit create asset. What you'll have now is this new physics asset that should look a little bit like this. Now, we are not going to be changing anything as of right now, as we don't need to. What we're going to focus on is actually getting it to simulate physics. We can go in here and change some of these settings later on, depending on the way that the physics react. But for now, we are going to go ahead and close this up. So with that said, what we need to do now is actually set up the blueprints, which is going to tell the engine to simulate those physics. And we're going to be doing this as part of our death sequence. So the way we're going to be looking at this is opening up our weapon base, which is actually going to fire off the code where it checks to see if the zombie is dead and then kills it. So we need to find that. So what we're going to do is head over to that. Now that is contained within our third person BP, blueprints, weapons, and AK-47. Within here, we have our weapon base. And because we're doing this in our weapon base, it's also going to transfer over to our M4A1. So open this up, give it a couple of seconds, and then once we're in here, what we can do is just modify our code to instead of destroy the actor as it's doing here, we are going to tell it to simulate physics instead. So what we've got is two lines of code. One line of code is for if it's aiming, and the second is if it's not. We've got to do this on both of them. So what you want to do just towards the end of your code before the kill pop up, we are going to find our destroy actor. Now with this, what we're going to be doing is replacing it with the simulate physics node. To do this, all we're going to do is right click and type in simulate physics. And then we're just going to use set simulate physics skeletal mesh. And then we're going to delete the reference to skeletal mesh as this isn't what we're trying to simulate physics on. We are trying to set, we are trying to simulate physics on the AI character. So to get a reference to that, we need to go into our code where we're casting to the simple AI. And then with this, we are going to get the mesh and the mesh is going to be for the body. Go all the way down to the bottom to where it says variables, character, and get that character mesh move this across, and then what you want to do is hook this up to your target. For your simulate, you want to set this to true, as you do want it to simulate physics, and then for our branch, if it is less than zero, this is where we want to execute set simulate physics, and after we've simulated physics, you want to do the normal stuff for creating the kill pop-up, if that's something that you're doing. Now we've done this, we just need to do the same thing on the rest of our code, so down here, where we've got our destroy actor, delete that. And then once again, we're just going to do set simulate physics. So if you type that in, set simulate physics, delete the reference to the skeletal mesh, and then go to our 
cast to simple AI, get mesh, scroll all the way down to the bottom here, and then all we're gonna do is move this over into place and hook this up to our target, hook up the execution pin and make sure this is simulating as it should. So if you go ahead and compile this, and then if you hit play, what should happen now is when you shoot it, it is going to drop to the floor. And once you've done that, you can kick it around and all of that good stuff. So this one here is walking around, he's coming, shooting back, he's gonna drop. And that is a nice cool ragdoll physics effect for our zombie. So that is everything that I wanted to show you as far as ragdoll physics is concerned. And what you have now is a really cool zombie that when you shoot it, it is going to die. Now there is more that you can learn about physics and more things that you can do to control the way it reacts, such as making it really fly off into the distance, changing the weight of the character and all of that stuff but for now we are happy where we are that is everything for today's video once again guys thanks for watching stay awesome keep creating your boy vertus signing out this video was made possible by my supporters on patreon if you want more videos like this check out my patreon page using the link in the description to stay up to date on new releases make sure you follow us on social media